In this video, we'll quickly look at how vesicular trafficking of lysosomal protein happens inside a cell. In simple words, we would know how lysosomal protein is targeted to the lysosome at the first place. So any protein that gets targeted to a particular uh, location inside the cell might have their localization signal. For example, mitochondrial localization signal drives a protein transport into the mitochondria or let's say nuclear localization signal target these proteins into the nucleus. In contrast to these common schematic, there is no thing called lysosome localization signal. There exists no particular target signal for lysosome lysosomal proteins. Instead of these kind of localization signal, lysosomal proteins undergo a modification known as mannose 6-phosphate tag. This tag marks them for delivery into the lysosome. Now question is how and when this tag is attached. It is attached at the trans Golgi and there are enzymes which can literally put this tag and make them go to the lysosome. And mannose 6-phosphate tag indeed prevent these particular proteins to be secreted outside of the cell. Because many of these are acid hydrolase, so they can damage the extra extracellular environment. So that is why targeting and delivering lysosomal protein, lysosomal enzymes are really crucial quality control step inside the cell. And we are going to know how. So the first part is similar to any protein uh, translocation. Like it would be synthesized on the ribosome, translocated into the ER and N-linked glycosylation would happen. We have previously described about these processes in detail. So we are not going to talk about it. So we are going to begin our discussion at the Transgolgi network. So at the Transgolgi, there are specific enzymes known as uh, N-acetyl glucosamine phosphotransferase. So this can transfer a uh, uh, phosphorylated glucosamine residue into the lysosomal enzyme, which is already N-linked glycosylated. So here is the UDP uh, N-linked uh, UDP glucnac tag. Now we are going to look at it into details. So here there are two different sites where UDP and acetyl glucosamine bind to one pocket and any nascent uh, uh, lysosomal protein binds to another pocket. Note that this protein is already N-linked glycosylated. Now what would happen is the UDP would go away and uh, N-acetyl glucosamine phosphate would be attached to the mannose residue. Eventually, this is, this is phosphorylated N-acetyl glucosamine residue. Eventually what happens, there are phosphodiesterase enzyme which would cleave and chop off the N-acetyl glucosamine residue. Now, this entire protein is left with the N-acetyl uh, glycosylation and so the N-linked glycosylation is kind of same but at the 6 position, so the, there is a mannose 6-phosphorylation that retains. So this mannose 6-phosphate tag is the key determinant of the delivery of protein into the lysosome. So now let's try to understand how these mannose 6-phosphate tag gets sorted and it helps in lysosomal targeting. So we are looking at the trans-Golgi and the lysosome. So here at the trans-Golgi, here, here are the lysosomal enzyme, here is M6P tag, and there are specific receptors known as mannose 6-phosphate receptors, which binds to these tag. So these receptor and the protein actually uh, interact with each other and there are specific type of adapter complexes that binds to it. So basically for lysosomal bound vesicles, there would be AP3 and clathrin-1 asso association. Clathrin coat associates on top of these vesicle. So this is basically a, a classical clathrin mediated uh, clathrin bound vesicle which would take these lysosomal enzyme to the lysosome. Eventually the vesicle pinches off with the help of dynamine now the vesicle, the clathrin coated vesicle containing the ribosomal, uh, containing the lysosomal enzyme with the, um, with, with the receptor is now inbound for the lysosomal fusion. Eventually the coat dissociates and it fuses with the lysosome. Now inside the lysosome, the pH is different. That is, that is why low pH dissociate the M6P tagged protein from their receptor. So the receptors 
are now recycled back to the trans Golgi. And the proteins, the lysosomal enzymes, remains there inside the lysosome. This is how the mannose-6-phosphate tag helps the transport of the protein to the lysosome. So I hope this video was short and informative enough. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in next video.